Right, for any of you that are out there that have seen my videos where I use a slitting saw on the lathe, on the Myford ML7 or the Chinese mini lathe to do uh, slots in bar, will know that I use my um, tool post vise that I made and hold the bar like that. And um, I wanted something that I could actually put onto the tool post that will be the correct centre height every time I use it. Obviously, if I use this one and change the component size or the bar diameter size, I have to adjust the center height each time. And like I say, I'd like something that's on center every time I put it on the tool post and something that's a bit more rigid and has great repeatability. So what I've come up with is my ER40 collet chuck tool post fixture. And it's absolutely dead easy to make if you've got a welder. Um, I had a couple of these um, collet chucks spare here, the ER40 to 5C, and I got an angle grinder and sawed off the back here. And then I opened up the back um, to the widest diameter, uh, or the biggest diameter, without it obviously touching the angle inside. So I can use some um, all different size bars up to about uh, I think it's about 28 millimeter or 30 millimeter with the ER40 uh, collet jack I'm not sure um, what the largest size is and I obviously faced off the back of the um, ER40 collet chuck there to make it nice and square. Incidentally, I held the uh, ER40 collet chuck um, in the lathe on the actual um, collar here and did the machining on it. And it was uh, very hard. Uh, the swarf came off blue, but I was able to machine it with um, the blue nano inserts. And then I've got a simple piece of angle iron to a certain length there, and a piece of half inch mild steel square bar, which I screwed onto the angle iron from the front here with some uh, countersunk six millimeter screws. I put three in there. And then I welded along the underside of that here to make it nice and solid. And then I got the ER40 collet chuck and put it into the angle iron. Everything was lovely and cleaned up, um, thoroughly shiny before I actually started welding. I put the G-cramp on there um, in a vise and then I welded on the underside here, along the back, up this side here or the back and along the top and it's absolutely solid. And you can see there that I've designed it with an overhang uh, to the uh, front of the collar basically and obviously I had to grind that out before I um, screwed that onto the angle iron. That's so it can go into the actual tool holder and give much more room on the cross slide like the um, tool post vise with the long um, bar on the back. You can move it up and down in the tool holder and have it back as far as that giving much more room on that cross slide for whatever you're going to machine. And I've used it already on the MyFit ML7 to do the cross cut in the end of a steel mandrel and it turned out absolutely brilliant. It was solid to use. Everything's lovely and square, centre height perfect every time I put it on the tool post. I reckon it would also be a really good method of actually uh, putting a bar in here or a spindle in here and, and actually milling the um, keyway in the end of a piece of bar. So I'll try that out at some point, but now I'll show you it on the lathe in use.
So I've set my stop so that the carriage will come in and it'll be dead on centre or in the middle of that bar there. So I can actually take it away from the stop each time when I um, undo the actual collar to turn the um, bar in there to do the other um, car. I know that when I come into the stop it's going to be dead centre. And that's a really good test for that um, fixture there because it's a really hard piece of um, steel which I cut out of one of those um, weightlifting bars you get. I've already done the cone on this one to make a mandrel. Now all I have to do is loosen this one off and turn it round to do the other cross cut. And the great thing is, is I can actually do the adjustment off the machine in the bench vise. And when I put the fixture back on the lathe, both the centre height and the centre of the bar, um, the carriage being up against the stop and the carriage locked, is dead centre.
So that's the finished slot and I'm really pleased with it because like I said it's a very hard piece of steel and I'm really pleased with the ER40 collet chuck tool post fixture.